Alhamdulillah, we begin today with a reminder from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to have taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I'd like to remind us of one of the thamarat, one of the fruits of taqwa, and one of the ways of hikmah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran, لَقَدْ آتَيْنَا لُقْمَانَ الْحِكْمَةِ Verily, we gave Luqman hikmah, wisdom. But what is the first thing that is mentioned after that from the signs of wisdom? أَنَشْكُرُ لِلَّهِ To be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the hikmah that was given to Luqman from the things of wisdom that he advised with is to have shukr of Allah. وَمَنْ يَشْكُرْ فَإِنَّمَا يَشْكُرُ لِنَفْسِهِ فَمَنْ كَفَرَ فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ غَنِيُّ الْحَمِيدِ Subhanallah. He says, whoever thanks Allah, whoever is thankful to Allah, then he is thankful for himself. Yani it benefits that person. وَمَنْ كَفَرَ يعني, And whoever, here the word kafara doesn't mean disbelief. The word kafara here stands for being unthankful, for denying the bounties of Allah upon you. He says, whoever is denies the bounties of Allah, that's kufr of the bounties of Allah, then verily Allah, He is Ghani and Hamid, He is the richest, He is the wealthiest, He is the one that doesn't need anything, and He is the one that is most praised, not need of our praise or hamd or shukr. Verily, when we thank Allah, it is to benefit us. We need to thank Allah for the ability to thank Allah. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, لَإِن شَكَرْتُمْ Verily, if you are thankful, لَأَزِيدَنَّكُمْ I will increase the bounties upon you. لَإِن كَفَرْتُمْ And if you deny those bounties, إِنَّ عَذَابِ لَشَدِيد What does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell us? That if you are thankful to Allah, then Allah will increase bounties. You thank Allah for what, whatever little Allah gives you, Allah will give you more. Whatever good Allah gives you, thankful Allah. If you are unthankful, what will happen? You will then get the adab of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Look at the yani, aks or did here. Yani, this is something you need to pay attention in the Quran to see what are the opposites. Shukr has come with the opposite of kufr. And actions of shukr will increase it. The opposite is Allah will increase punishment upon you. This is why most of insan, most of the people are unthankful. And there are few who are really thankful. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ لَذَلُومٌ كَفَّارٌ ذَلُوم Here, لَامْ بِالتَّوْكِيدِ لَذَلُوم يعني ذَلُوم here is oppressive. On who? First and for himself or herself. Kafar here doesn't mean disbeliever. Verily, insan, humans in, in, in their general base. يعني Muslim, Kafir, Mushrik, Fasik, Salih, all of them put together. Insan is oppressive on themselves with our nafs, with our desires, alcoholism and drugs and lying and backbiting and all these evils, they oppress ourselves. And then kafar, we are unthankful by nature. But then there are those who overcome that shakirin. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Sanadzi shakirin, we will give jaza, we will reward, we will help those who are shakirin. I want to mention a few points on shukr. And this is a quick reminder for me and my brothers and sisters in Islam. What is shukr? As we mentioned many times, but as a reminder, it is actions. I'malu ala Dawuda shukra. Verily, the family of Dawud Islam, they did actions of shukr. Shukr will never come about speech. When you make, uh, when you are thankful to Allah with your tongue, this is called hamd. When something good happens, you don't say shukr Allah, as some people do, but linguistically that is incorrect. You should say alhamdulillah. The Prophet ﷺ told us to say alhamdulillah. But when you want to make shukr, what do you do? Sujood shukr. You do an action of shukr. You make sujood, as is from the sunnah. So here, the first thing that shukr should be with action. If you want to thank Allah first, we begin with the heart with contentment in whatever Allah has written for us. 
then it becomes hamd on the tongue. We say alhamdulillah. Then it becomes actions. What does that mean? For example, Allah blessed you with some wealth. You take some of that wealth. Allah doesn't need your wealth. Allah is ghani, hamid. But you take some of that wealth, you give sadaqah to the poor. This is the shukr. This is thanking Allah for that na'mah. Allah gives you time, you dedicate it to the Quran, to the hadith, to the fiqh, to learning knowledge. Allah gave you internet, you use it for khair. You spread the da'wah, you give out yani, da'wah to people using all the means. This is the shukr of that na'mah. Allah gave you children, teach them the right way. Allah gave you a spouse, use that marriage for halal and for, for, for piety for both of you. This is shukr through actions, not just words. Words are hamd, shukr are actions. And know that an insan will never be able to be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala until they are thankful to other people. Imam Ahmad had mentioned in his Muslim and Sahih hadith that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, La yashkur Allah man la yashkur nas. And this rawah has come in different wording, all with the same meaning authentically, that whoever does not thank the people, he will not be thankful to Allah. Whoever wants to be thankful to Allah has to first, so if somebody does a favor, somebody teaches you something, somebody gives you a gift, somebody helps you in a situation, somebody loans you money, whatever Allah blesses somebody to help you with, first and foremost, be thankful to them. Today, somebody does good to us, we turn around and do bad to them. Somebody helps you, somebody loans you something, they're like, oh, look what he loaned me, it's all broken, look at this guy. Subhanallah, unthankfulness. This is kufr in the Quran. This is denying of the bounties of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Secondly, undur ila man asfala minkum. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us in the hadith Ibn Majah has mentioned with the Sahih Sanad that look at those that are lower than you. Wala unduru ila man fawqakum. Do not look at those that are above you. This is practical advice from the Prophet ﷺ on how to be thankful. Don't always look at who has more than you. If you're just going to sit, if Allah has blessed you with a nice car and you look at somebody with a nicer car, then you're always going to be unthankful. You're always going to be upset. You're never going to be happy because somebody somewhere will always have something that you don't have. You could be the richest man in the world and then you look at some king and say, well, he's got more power than me. You could be the, the, the most strong, and you, the, the, the most oppressive and, and rich king in the world and you look at somebody's younger and be like well at least he's young <laughs> that way you'll never be thankful so always look at those that Allah did not give what you have and thank Allah and don't always look at those that have more or you will just harm yourself you will burn with rage you will never have that qina'ah that satisfaction of the heart so follow the advice of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam do actions of shukr do yani thank those who help you make excuses for your brothers and always look at those that don't have and thank Allah that, that Allah didn't put you through that test. Even if you're going through all kinds of financial hardships, thank Allah for the health you have. If you have health issues, thank Allah that you are not in debt to anybody. If you're in debt, thank Allah that your, your family is safe. Anytime, look for the positive. This is the way of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, And this is the way of those that are successful. Look at what Allah has blessed you with. Thank Allah through action. Do not look at those that have more than you and be unthankful for Allah has given you or Allah will take away what you have and Allah will decrease and put adab on you.